Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about square root of a complex number, cube roots of unity and properties of cube roots of unity. First of all let us discuss square root of a complex number. Now let the square root of a complex number a plus b iota is x plus y iota that is square root of a plus b iota is equal to x plus y iota where x and y belong to the set of real numbers. Now squaring both sides this implies a plus b iota is equal to x plus y iota whole square which is equal to x square minus y square as iota square is minus 1 plus 2 x y iota. Now equating the real and imaginary parts on both sides we get now equating the real part we get a is equal to x square minus y square and equating the imaginary part we get b is equal to 2xy. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now x square plus y square whole square can be written as x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square which implies x square plus y square is equal to square root of x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square which implies x square plus y square is equal to square root of now a is equal to x square minus y square so x square minus y square whole square will be equal to a square plus b is equal to 2xy so 4x square y square which can be written as 2xy whole square will be equal to b square now let this be equation number 3 now this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 3 so solving 1 and 3 we get x square is equal to 1 by 2 into a plus square root of a square plus b square the whole similarly we get y square is equal to 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square minus a the whole which implies x is equal to plus minus square root of 1 by 2 into a plus square root of a square plus b square the whole and y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square minus a the whole. Now this is the equation number 2. So from 2, 2xy is equal to b. Now if b is greater than 0, then x and y are either positive or negative but if b is less than 0 then x and y will have opposite signs that is 
if b is greater than 0, then from this equation we can say that x and y will have either positive signs or negative signs, but if b is less than 0, then x and y will have opposite signs. Now we have taken the square root of a plus b iota as x plus y iota and on solving we are obtaining the values of x and y. Hence, by these conditions, the square roots that is the required square roots of a plus b iota are plus minus the square root of 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square plus a the whole plus iota into square root of 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square minus a the whole if b is greater than 0 and plus minus square root of 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square plus a the whole minus iota into square root of 1 by 2 into square root of a square plus b square minus a the whole if b is less than 0. That is, when b is greater than 0, then x and y will have the same signs and if b is less than 0, then x and y will have the opposite signs. Now let us discuss some of the important points. First one is any root of a complex number is also a complex number. Now let us take an example. In this, let the nth root of the complex number a plus b iota is equal to x, where a, b and x are real numbers and b is not equal to 0, then a plus b iota is equal to x raised to power n, which is equal to real number, Now, a plus b iota is equal to x raised to power n which is a real number is an absurd. Therefore, any root of a complex number is again a complex number. And if the square root of a plus b iota is equal to x plus y iota where a, b, x and y are real numbers then square root of a minus b iota is equal to x minus y iota. Now let us discuss the cube roots of unity. Now let us find all the cube roots of unity. Now let x is equal to 1 raised to power 1 by 3. Then, x cube is equal to 1 implies x cube minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this further implies, now x cube minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 the whole into x square plus x plus 1 the whole. This is equal to 0. And this implies either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. 
which further implies x is equal to 1. And here, this is a quadratic equation in x. So by using the formula, we can find its roots. So on solving this, x is equal to minus b, that is minus 1, plus minus square root of b square, that is 1 square, which is 1, minus 4ac, that is 4, 4 upon 2a, that is 2 into 1, which is 2, which is further equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 3, 4 upon 2, and this is further equal to minus 1 plus minus iota root 3, 4 upon 2, as square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So this implies x is equal to 1, And x is equal to minus 1 plus minus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Therefore, the three cube roots of unity are 1 minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 and minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Now out of these three roots, one root is real, that is 1, and the other two roots are the complex numbers. Now let us discuss the properties of cube roots of unity. Now the first property is, each complex Q root of unity is the square of other. Now we know that the complex Q roots of unity are minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 and minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Now let us find the square of the one of the complex roots of unity. Now minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 whole square is equal to 1 plus of minus 3 as iota square is minus 1 minus 2 iota root 3 whole upon 4 which is equal to minus 2 minus 2 into iota root 3 whole upon 4 which is further equal to minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 and this is the other cube root of unity. Similarly, if we will take the square of minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2, then this will be equal to minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Therefore, we can say that each complex cube root of unity is the square of other. Now, if one complex cube root of unity is denoted by omega, then the other complex cube root would be omega square as each complex cube root of unity is the square of other. So if we are taking one complex cube root as omega, then the other would be omega square. Thus, the three cube roots of unity are 
are denoted by 1 omega omega square. Now let us discuss the second property that is the sum of three cube roots of unity is zero. That is one plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero. Now let us prove this. Now 1 plus omega plus omega square will be equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole plus minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole which is further equal to 2 minus 1 plus iota root 3 minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Now on solving, this is equal to 0 by 2, which is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of three cube roots of unity is 0. Now let us discuss the next property, which is the product of the three cube roots of unity is 1. That is 1 into omega into omega square is equal to 1. Now let us prove this. Now 1 into omega into omega square will be equal to 1 into minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole into minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole. On solving this is equal to minus 1 whole square minus iota root 3 whole square whole upon 4 which is equal to 1 plus 3 whole upon 4 as iota square is minus 1 so this is equal to 4 over 4 which is equal to 1. Therefore the product of 3 cube roots of unity is 1. So 1 into omega into omega square is equal to 1 implies omega cube is equal to 1. Now let us discuss the next property which is the conjugate of omega is equal to omega square and the conjugate of omega square is equal to omega. Now let us prove it. Now conjugate of omega is equal to the conjugate of minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 which is equal to minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 which is equal to omega square and the conjugate of omega square is equal to the conjugate of minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 which is equal to omega. Now let us discuss the next property which is each complex cube root of unity is the reciprocal of the other. Now let alpha is equal to minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 and beta is equal to minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2. Now alpha into beta is equal to minus 1 plus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole into minus 1 minus iota root 3 whole upon 2 the whole. 
which is equal to minus 1 whole square minus iota root 3 whole square whole upon 4 which is equal to 1 plus 3 whole upon 4 which is equal to 4 over 4 and this is equal to 1. Therefore, alpha beta is equal to 1 implies alpha is equal to 1 over beta and beta is equal to 1 over alpha. So we can say that each complex cube root of unity is the reciprocal of other. Now let us discuss the powers of omega. Now we know that the product of three cube roots of unity is 1 and from that we have got the result as omega cube is equal to 1. Now omega raised to power 4 can be written as omega raised to power 3 into omega which is equal to now omega cube is 1 so this is equal to 1 into omega which is equal to omega. Now omega raised to power 5 can be written as omega raised to power 3 into omega square. Now omega cube that is omega raised to power 3 is equal to 1. So it will be equal to 1 into omega square which is equal to omega square. Now omega raised to power 6 can be written as omega raised to power 3 whole raised to power 2 which is equal to 1 square which is equal to 1. Now omega raised to power 3n can be written as omega raised to power 3 whole raised to power n. Now this is equal to, now omega raised to power 3 is equal to 1 so this is equal to 1 raised to power n which is equal to 1. Also, omega raised to power 3n plus 1 can be written as omega raised to power 3n into omega which is further equal to omega raised to power 3 whole raised to power n into omega which is equal to 1 raised to power n into omega which is equal to 1 into omega which is equal to omega. Now omega raised to power minus 3n is equal to 1 over omega raised to power 3n which can be written as 1 over omega raised to power 3 that is omega cube raised to power n which is further equal to 1 over 1 raised to power n which is equal to 1 over 1 which is equal to 1. Thus all powers of omega can be expressed in terms of one omega and omega square. So in this session we have learnt about square root of a complex number, cube roots of unity and properties of cube roots of unity. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.